Well, it's finally autumn, which means it's time to get into those fall festivities. Yes, and to kick off the weekend is the Tino Fall Festival tradition. 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan has been at the gallery all day watching them prepare for the event. And it really is a great fall scene behind you, Caitlin. Well, thank you so much. And just to give you an idea of what kind of artwork you can expect to see at the Fall Festival this week, I'm going to bring you back to uh, Robert A. Tino. And we're actually in his gallery right now. This gallery is going to be open during the Fall Festival this weekend. And Robert, you said you're really well known for your artwork of bears. Can you tell me a little bit about this painting next to you? Sure. This one is an acrylic painting. And I've done bears probably for about 20 years. They're one of my favorite animals. And I like to have fun with them. A little bit more abstract, a lot of texture. You know, there's the, the bear's kind of realistic, but the rest of it is just lots of color. And they're a lot of fun to do. Kind of try to make them happy. Well, it's just beautiful. And, and can you tell me about this one over here? We can walk over because I know okay. David's going to want to look at it as well. Of course, this is, this is what I, I love to do a great deal is, is the Smoky Mountains with the smoke. That's just one of my favorite things. This particular piece is done from uh, the top of Mount Leconte on the clifftops. And you're looking back. You, if, if, you, if the smoke wasn't there, you'd probably see Gatlinburg down in that way. But that's looking west from the clifftops. Well, these are beautiful. And these will both be here at the gallery for viewing this weekend. Just a reminder, that festival starts on Friday. And it will go all the way until Sunday. Sunday. So people should come and check it out. Back to you guys. All right. Guys, thank you very much.